An administrator can set up Cathexis Vision ANPR by opening the Setup tab, then adding the camera and ensuring that the correct driver, username and password and streams are all set up correctly as well as user access rights. Make sure that the scheduled recordings are also configured. Follow along on screen or go check our previous videos comprehensively covering these procedures. Once the camera is installed and scheduled recordings are set up for the camera, select the Integrations Devices option by clicking on it. There is no need to recreate the LPR device if it already exists, but if not, then create a device by clicking the New Device button and selecting the Cathexis LPR device and give it a descriptive name and click Finish to store the selections. The configuration will be populated with an LPR server. An integrations database needs to be set up to store the metadata. This is done by selecting the General tab and clicking the Configure Database button and creating a new one. Name it appropriately. Remember that this database only holds metadata, so it does not need to be very large. Select the Cathexis LPR3 driver and click OK. Now that a database has been created, it must be selected as the integration database. Close the setup screen. And click the gears icon and select the database to use. A camera whose footage can be used for the LPR function can now be set up. Choosing the license plate recognition option and clicking New will open a window that will allow the camera to be selected from a list of installed cameras. Once that is done, the camera can be configured for LPR. Double click the camera. If the requirements are for a triggered type LPR as opposed to a free flow, please see the supplementary video. Start off by setting the capture zone by dragging the points to the desired positions. The footage used is automatically taken from the recordings that were previously set up. This is the zone or area that the number plates will be detected in and recognized. Next, the font height and slope and slant can be set. With a number plate in view, move the font indicators to the beginning of the zone and then adjust the font slope to match that of the plate. After which, the same can be done for the font slant. Once again, move the font indicators to the beginning of the zone and with a number plate in view, this will aid in accuracy, adjust the smallest size to match that of the font on the plate. Move the number plate to the other end of the zone and set the largest font size to match the plate font size. The average font size could be set to a value in between the smallest and largest or the footage can be stepped back to a point where the plate is in the middle of the detection zone and the font adjusted accordingly. Click OK. If the dongle has still not been inserted, there will be a no engine warning and zero licenses will be displayed. It needs to be plugged in to continue with the setup. 
Once the license is detected, the footage can be analyzed to see if the settings are correct. Clicking the Analyze button should have the number plate and the confidence level in the results. The Advanced button gives access to adjusting the debounce, which is the minimum time allowed between license plate detections. The same plate debounce is the time allowed between detections of the same plate. Matching the plate in a specified amount of frames allows for a confident setting. 3 out of 5 is a good setting to start with. Gamma Corrections automatically adjusts the contrast settings of a frame to help with the detections. Analyzing plate type and colors detects additional information about the number plate. The Meta information allows additional information to be recorded about the detected plate. After everything is configured, the installation can be tested. If the information needs to be displayed on the screen, then overlays need to be enabled. Thank you for watching.